But well, Debbie Taylor down on the field behind us as we get set for game two of this series tonight. You had a chance to catch up with a couple of guys, Luis Adelano and Tyler Walker, about their rehabbing and so forth. I know they can't wait to get back up with a big club. That's right, Johnny. They're all working very hard to get here. And just to give you a quick update on Ross Detweiler, they're defining his hip injury as a strain, and his MRI has been sent out to the surgeon who did the surgery a little bit ago on him. So we'll keep you up to date on him. Meanwhile, Luis Adelano has been in the clubhouse getting physical therapy for having bone chips or loose bodies removed from his elbow and here's Luis on that. I don't know, I think Mayor, you just got uh, bone chips take out. Uh, it, was, it was hurting me for a long time. I didn't want to say it. I, I, I explained before, but I mean, finally I got it out. It's already feeling better. So, so now when I just got six weeks, no throw, and then started throwing pro, and hopefully get back soon. Do you look at Craig Stammen? He's a guy that missed time because of the same thing, and now he's pitching well. Do you look at him as maybe somebody that you can follow in his footsteps? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Stamen got it done last year. Um, my kids got it done this year. That's why that's who I came up here for. Unfortunately, I got the same same situation in him. But I mean, I mean, you just gotta keep working hard and get it strong, and then come back. And just mentally, how do you stay positive through this? Uh, I just, I mean, I, I, I'm not worry about too much because it's not a major surgery like I got it done before they told me you know I mean it's a completely different I mean and it's already feeling fine so I'm, I'm confident with that and I know I know I'm gonna be back soon well Elise will continue to stay positive and continue his treatments and he could be throwing again in about six weeks meanwhile a little bit of a different story with Tyler Walker here he is to describe his surgery from what I've been told and the, the pictures I've seen, uh, they put six anchors in my labrum, two in the front, and I mean three in the front and three in the back, and then put two stitches in the rotator cuff. So uh, it was quite a bit of work they had to do in there. So uh, you know, in hindsight, I'm glad we went ahead and had the procedure uh, as opposed to trying to rehab it and, and possibly being back to square one in six weeks. So uh, at least we're on the road to recovery now. What will the recovery process be like for you? Well, I've had it done before. I had labrum in 2000 so it's it's grueling it's a lot worse than a Tommy John because the shoulder is more dynamic in terms of flexibility and uh, you have to get range of motion there in order to throw the baseball uh, meanwhile the elbow you just have to get it straight and then you can go so uh, you know it's it's a long process but uh, you know I figured I'd give it one good shot and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but hopefully it will mentally how do you make it work uh, you know I just look at the bright side you know got a great life you know happy you know <laughs> can't complain so uh, I get to you know play a game for a living and you look at it that way it, it uh, makes it easier and you, you, you want to get back out there for the fun times the, comp the competition so I think that's that's why I maintain a positive outlook that way. Tyler's a strong guy, both physically and mentally, but realistically, we're looking at about next May if he does return to baseball. A couple other notes to tell you about. Nigel Morgan told me today that he's feeling better, and Lee Kuntz, the Nationals trainer, said that he's ramping up his activities, so that's encouraging news. And Josh Willingham is out of the lineup tonight. He's got a tender left knee, so we're just trying to keep an eye on him. Guys, that's the medical update from the MASH unit here with the Nationals. Back to you.